Good day, good day. So this will be my third video on thistle, and this is because thistle is such an incredible bush tucker. It's an incredible plant altogether, um, as both a hedging plant, sort of to like a perimeter plant to keep um, animals out of your garden, um, or for your beans to climb up again to keep animals off your beans. Uh, but one of the reasons I love it, another reason we're discussing today, is all this beautiful purple. I mean, first of all, colour is gorgeous, but you can actually remove these little tops and you can chew that like chewing gum. And it's quite sweet and it's quite delicious. Um, what else? You can actually, I, I did this the other day, I actually got the heads of these guys, um, using a tripod now for the first time. Uh, anyway, so I got the heads of these guys um, just before they sort of get the little purple fuzzy bit coming out, right? When they're nice and bulbous. Um, and then I just steamed them up like artichokes and they were tiny, tiny little artichokes, but they tasted bloody brilliant. Um, so I don't know, gather like 20 of them and you got yourself a little feed, which is pretty awesome. Now the leaves, of course, I've mentioned before, you can, um, you can your best bet is to cut them off. Um, like you just grab it and then pull down is usually your bet. So if I grab like here, you'd have to obviously grab two sides at the same time. Again, I'm still working with the one handed thing going on here. But um, you put it over a fire and it burns off the spikes and then you can just eat it like a normal salad leaf. It's really quite nice. And this is one of the reasons we need fire. You can't do this with a, in an oven. You can't do this with, you know, a convection stovetop. You have to have fire. Another thing you can do, all these little sandy clauses that come out here, okay? You can eat the seeds here, right? But you can also, um, I love those seeds too, they're really good. They're uh, a good liver uh, cleanser too. But what you can also do with those, you can collect those up and, um, and you can use that as a non-animal rennet for making cheese. So that's um, pretty awesome. Particularly because in a lot of uh, fields where cows grow, grow, <laughs> live, um, where cows grow, this will be the only plant they don't eat. So it's almost like they're saying, don't use the inner lining of my baby's stomach um, to make your cheese, use, use these thistle heads instead. So, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of those. Yeah, beauty, you can see all the little seeds, whoop, you can see all the little seeds on there. Oh, I have a nom on them, I think. Mm, nah, nah. Nah. I'm taken now to um, filming me chewing the things because people say, oh, it's, it's poisonous. And I'm like, yeah, bullshit, it is. I've been eating it for years. Don't tell me otherwise. Anyway, I'll leave that one there. Hope you have a lovely day and um, grow some thistles. They're fun. This is um, uh, Scotch thistle, bull thistle or something like this. Goes by many names. There's a lot of types of thistles and they all have very small differences, but... There you go. Real cool stuff. This'll do. Yeah.